So this is something that you can get from your EKG. However, um, in many of you, we're getting um, heart rhythms from use of watches. And the watches don't use, you know, obtain EKGs. What we obtain are the PVGs, or the photoplethysmography, which measures the flow through microvasculatures in your skin. And um, it has, you know, it doesn't have this rapid upstroke that you can see in the electropolization. It's a slow rise. And the other thing to note is that you can't tell whether these things are normal sinus rhythms or whether they are attributed to an ectopic beat. I mean, you can't directly because there isn't a P wave and you don't have a P wave equivalent in the PPG signals. Um, this actually is not a P wave. It is a reflective uh, pulse wave, so it's not a P wave. So this is one of the challenges that you may encounter as you do your research is that the PPGs uh, won't give you information about what, or directly won't give you information about what kind of rhythm you have. And sometimes if someone has a lot of ectopic atrial beats or atrial fibrillation, it falsely gives you a higher heart rate variability. Um, and it doesn't give you a reflection of your autonomic nervous system.